And did y'all notice that I stopped posting the veneer videos? Yeah, because it got really nasty. It we, got sticky at the end. It got very sticky. We was treated very disgusting. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a video that y'all going to be sending to each other like, oh my goodness, they said it, they talked about it. This is going to be that video. And y'all might want to might have part two. If the we, questions is good. Right. We definitely going to have part hey two. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome back to... Sit downs with the Henrys. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while, but we back with another one. Listen, y'all, it's been a little minute since we've been on this bench. It's a little minute. Little minute. It's been a little minute, y'all. Ain't like I ain't seen us though. We've been out. Right, right, right. Um, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm a little older now. <laughs> I'm more. How you feel? So feel all right. You feel all right? I feel young. You know what I mean? I feel like I can still do some things. <laughs> A whole lot of things. A whole lot of things. In Jesus' name. But listen, no, it's not technically his birthday anymore. He um I'm celebrating until the end of the month. Oh, okay. So technically this is the last day for him to celebrate. No, the part of next month too. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess because it's Libra season, even though nah, we don't nah, 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 right. Not, not we don't do that because you're a Christian, right? Yeah. My bad, my bad. Anyway, y'all already seen the title. <laughs> and we're gonna come to you with some tea. Um, and well, honestly, we're going to come to you with our transparency and we're going to talk to you about our total truth experience, like our total transparent experience. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely like an experience to say the very least, but y'all already know before we get into it, we got to bust out in prayer. You already know that's what we're going to do, but make sure you subscribe, call a friend, tell a coworker, hit the button and comment. Right, because this is gonna be this is gonna be a video. I'm being very honest. This is gonna be a video that y'all gonna be sending to each other. Like, oh my goodness, they said it. They talked about it. This is gonna be that video. And y'all might want to might have part two if the we, questions is good. Right, we definitely gonna have part two because we need to show you guys the actual end scene of what we was going through. I'm not gonna. Sh uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like put pictures up while we're talking. We're just gonna go ahead and roll with it to see how this flow. But let's go ahead and pray, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Would you like to lead, baby? Dear Heavenly Father, as we come here together, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for allowing us to be able to tell our truth to millions of people. Thank you for allowing us to give us this platform, giving us the strength to be able to be strong during this time. Give us the strength so we can be able to communicate. Give us the strength so we can be able to tell our truth and our experience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, baby. I had a little, like... Drew come out my mouth. Did you really? That is so funny. It's been happening to me too, but that's right. okay. Y'all, so let me, I'm going to break it down because this is something that I wanted personally for me for many years. Not because I had a yuck mouth, not before because I was missing out on my teeth or anything of that nature. I, I've always just wanted, I'm that type of person. I always thrive to continue to become the best version of myself. That's just who I am. That's who Sandia is. So I remember several years ago, I would say roughly about eight years ago, uh, I was like, I'm going to get veneers. Like I'm going to get veneers. And I would talk about it with my mom and my sisters. So they knew they were like, I, we all said we were, and we all have nice teeth. Like we all had nice teeth. We were like, we're going to go ahead and get veneers just because we wanted that aesthetically pleasing smell. Right. We didn't want like little baby teeth. We didn't want like a bunch of spaces in the bottom of our teeth. Like we didn't just want that. We wanted an aesthetically pleasing smile. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've always said that. But I'm going to be honest. I didn't know how expensive it is. I didn't know how accessible. That's the word I was looking for. I didn't know how accessible it was for me to literally jump on West app, get a consultation, fly out to a different country, get my teeth. That's it. I didn't mm -hmm. realize how easy that was. Right. I thought, okay, I'm going to be spending 40 to $50,000. And honest to God, I'm not spending that much money on teeth. I can spend that much money on a down payment of a new house, right. an investment property, and the list can go on, but not on those teeth. Mm -hmm. Even though your smile is an investment, it's a personal investment to yourself. I just didn't want to spend 40 to $50,000 on some veneers. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it a hundred. So this time, just to throw out some disclaimers, Antoine and I's teeth was not for free. Mm -mm. We didn't do this as a promo or something like this. We did this not because we genuinely wanted this. Now, my husband didn't even care. He didn't care for veneers. He not didn't. He did not. He was like, babe, I don't want my teeth done. But my, not just not want my, my teeth done. I didn't care if it was or was not. 
it was something that you wanted. So if you wanted to get your teeth done, I was supporting you during the process. Thank you, baby. We're both. And I just, I just remember him saying, I'm like, we're going to get out. He was like, babe, you can get your teeth done. That's okay. I'll support it. Mm. I don't really care to get my teeth done. I like my smile. And I'm like, I love your smile too. But I just want us to both have that equal, you know, equal smile, you know? And he was like, okay, babe, if you, if you so wish. So a lot of things transpired throughout the years. And this time he kind of was like, okay, you just have my eighth baby. We, we are approaching our, you know, we're entering into our eighth year of marriage. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're entering, there were so many different milestones happening over this summer. And my husband said, what do you want? And I was just like, I want my teeth done. Right. And so it was like, so surreal. He was like, well, just who, what doctor you want to go to? So immediately you guys, I knew the doctor I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I've seen this doctor. It was a billion dollar doctor, right? He was number one. I've seen him on social media, on Instagram to be very specific. I have seen him about like six years ago on Instagram. And so it kind of like brought things into fruition when I was like, oh my goodness, when I finally found a doctor who I would like to get my teeth done, but I don't know how expensive it is. I've never had a consultation. I, you know, I was just like, it was just a thought. But then just two years ago, mm -hmm. I saw Dr. G, Dr. G in Cali, Colombia. Uh, I see him from a different, um, a different girl that I follow on YouTube. Her name is Rocky. I love her. I love what she does. And she went to Dr. G and I was, I told Antoine, I said, okay, so I'm not going to do billion dollar doctor no more. I'm going to go ahead and do Dr. G. I personally didn't like Dr. Billionaire or whatever. Right. They was very, so right. They, they looked like chitlers, big teeth, very big teeth. So Antoine and I, he was like, whatever you want to go to, just do it. So then that's when I started reaching out on Instagram and you start like getting your consultation. So I started that process this summer. Um, and you just start sending, you know, asking, inquiring about, hey, how much would this be? Right. What What is possible for my teeth? I didn't know what I needed or anything like that. Again, I've never went to a doctor. My teeth were very healthy, very healthy. Like mm -hmm. I literally, Antoine and our teeth was both very healthy. My husband never had a cavity. He never lost a tooth or any of his adult teeth. So he had very adult, uh, very pleasing <laughs> teeth. Like his teeth was very healthy. Very adult teeth. Very adult teeth. <laughs> Uh, as I can see, I'm trying to take my time so I can be able to give you guys this because it's coming. So he he had perfect teeth, mm. right? Was it aesthetically pleasing? Uh, it probably had some room for improvement, right? Like all of us. But for me, on the other hand, I had aesthetically pleasing teeth, but then I had one tooth missing on the side. Um, and then I had some fillings, some, some metal fillings um from years ago you know what i mean growing up in the hood having medicaid i had some metal fillings y'all fun fact fun fact if you get ready to go get fillings make sure you do not use metal metal is not supposed to be in your body right make sure you go get the regular fillings because metal can deteriorate your mouth it can give you cancer Terrible. there's so many different things looking right. up and i forget what's the actual term of the, the metal it's, yeah I it's not metal fillings it's like al al algam I'll grim out something, you guys. I, I can't figure it out, but I will figure it out and write it down for y'all right. in the caption so y'all can see it. But you you shouldn't get that. But y'all know years ago, I grew up in the 90s. So they filled all of my cavities back in the 90s with metal. With metal right? When I was about nine years old, I got those fillings. So all my years, I have asked, hey, can I get these metal fillings out? Because they look, they actually taint the teeth. They, they taint your teeth. Mm -hmm. So your teeth no longer look white, but they have like a grayish color. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what I had in my teeth and I couldn't stand it. So I would be laughing and people would see the dark, you know, the dark teeth from my fillings that was actually coloring my teeth and tainting my teeth darker. Right. So for me, I wanted an extremely pleasing smell. And I wanted my fillings to be removed. Mm. I wanted my fillings to be removed so that I can have like all white. So I wanted them to fill it with the resin um, composite, right? That material instead of the metal. What is resin composite? I don't know. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically, it's because you, you also have the porcelain veneers, right. which we have, and then you have the resin veneers. Which don't which, last as long. Which don't last as long. They wear and tear on the teeth. Right. And it'll stain the teeth right. with coffee, red wine, and things of that nature. So that material is in my, that's what they filled me with, right? right? So anyway, back to the consultations. I went 
to billion dollar doctor and got a consultation. He said, hey, I can't give you a full consultation because we need to have your um, your x-rays. So I said, well, how do I get x-rays? He said, go to your local dentist and get x-rays and have them send it to us. And I said, all right, cool. So then I went to the next doctor, which was Dr. G. So Dr. G is on Instagram as well. Went to him. Very great. He had two offices, one in Cali, Colombia, one in um, Santo Domingo or either Putacana, Dominican Republic. Right. Very nice. OK, I won't go again to prices yet, but I'll just wait. So Dr. G was definitely the least expensive. OK, and that's the doctor that I told you I wanted to go to. Mm. Then I found a different doctor who I just Googled and it was Dr. Diaz. Mm -hmm. OK, he was in Bogota, Bogota, Colombia, right? The capital of Colombia. Mm -hmm. When I tell you customer service was to the T, when I tell you how thorough he was to the T. Now he explained everything. He gave me my consultation. He could look at my, um, just my pictures without even my x-rays. And he was able to tell me and Antoine exactly what he would do to our teeth. Right. He was on more of the higher end. Mm -hmm. He wasn't as high as the billion dollar doctor who was roughly about $10,000, right? He wasn't as expensive as the billion dollar doctor, but he was right underneath them. Mm -hmm. Whereas Dr. G said 5,400, he had a sale going on where it was $5,400 per person. So that right, a no brainer, you would say, oh, let me run there. But knowing me and knowing like, no, you don't want to always go with the most, you know, the least expensive one, because it's not always about the cost bill is about the quality. quality. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll get ahead. And I was considering Dr. Diaz. Love Dr. Diaz. Very communicated well. And I saw another influencer on YouTube say that they went to Oral Harmony. Mm -hmm. I never heard of Oral Harmony before. Ever. Never heard of them. Went to their Instagram and I kind of started liking some of their videos. I did see that the engagement on their videos wasn't significant. But I just thought, well, maybe a lot of people don't know who they are, yada, yada, yada. Did a consultation, and it seemed like the communication was very comparable to the rest of the consultations of the people I was talking to and getting consultations from. And what Oral Harmony did differently was that they said, hey, the doctor would get on a actual call with you. Right. They'll, he'll do like a FaceTime call with you. Mm. So I was like, all right, great. And I think that's where... That's, that's where the, the customer service change for us. Cause when you get on a call with somebody, right. somebody they're, they're more personal with you. So you, you engage into a relationship, you start talking, they right. start telling you the things that you need to hear, start getting understanding on what teeth you need, what you need removed, what, how it's going to feel and so forth. And so as you guys can obviously see, we picked oral harmony. Oral harmony was the most expensive, right? They were right about 7,900 per person. Mm -hmm. So we went with, with Oral Harmony primarily because the doctor so eagerly got on a call with us. And we right. felt as though the doctor, who was Dr. Sebastian, we felt as though he was very personable. We felt like he was very thorough. Mm -hmm. um, even though in that consultation, he, he kind of just said what he needed to say and kind of said, what questions do you have? We asked questions and he kind of just told us in my opinion as we look back you know hindsight is 2020 i believe he told us exactly what we wanted to hear mm -hmm. in my in my opinion right do you feel like that I f yes and no okay I feel yes yes he told us what he wanted to hear but also he did explain some of the stuff that should have been done like um removing crowns what's the difference between a crown what's the difference between the, i guess the cap the fillings and stuff like that he did explain that stuff but the problem was what was done and what wasn't done okay so i appreciate you sharing that mm -hmm. so i will say that to me i feel like he was just sharing what we wanted to hear right and you said that no yes and no the, mm -hmm. i'm going to explain that part because what you say was actually actually absolutely correct mm -hmm. he did explain about the crowns because dr diaz said to me i would like to take out the the where you have huge fillings, right? With the metal fillings, right? I can't pronounce that word. I don't know what it is. It's algamine or something like that. Where you have those fillings, he says the teeth is so, it's like not damaged, but it's stained 
um, it's darker in color. He said, if you put a veneer on the front of it, because veneers is only for the front of your teeth. Right. Okay. So it's, a just, cap. it's a, it's not a cap to go on the whole top, but it, to me, it's just it's like funny. a front. Mm -hmm. It's just a front piece. It's, it's literally just a front little piece. Okay. He said, if I put that in, he said, you will still see the dark pigmentation on the teeth where the fillings was. Right. He recommended me to get a crown. Mm -hmm. Okay. I asked Dr. Sebastian, Sebastian, would you recommend me getting crowns? And he says, no. He says, when you get crowns in the back of your mouth, those are for your chewing teeth. He said, I don't recommend it. He said, I recommend taking out the filling and just refilling it. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, no problem. Right. And that made sense. And then I talked to him about my missing tooth over here. He said, that's no problem. He said, you have two options. You can get an implant. But he says that implant takes about six months. He says, so I would do the initial process of the implant and then you would have to come back out here in six months once it's healed to get the second part. But what's the, what, what also the problem with the implant, the implant may not be copacetic with your body. Right. And maybe in that word, and what that means is that your body may reject the implant, in other words. Thank you. And so that made total sense to me. And just in total transparency, I had implants before in my body, my and my body rejected it. So I would he anything in my body, my body is very sensitive. It rejects foreign objects. So I wouldn't, I would never go with any other implant again because of that issue. So when he mentioned that, I we both knew we were like, oh nope, that's not the way to go. So the second option for me was to get a bridge. Right. A bridge is because you got a missing tooth. The the bridge will literally hold on to the other two. I'm not trying to bore you guys with the specifics, but that's basically right. the gist of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he says, I'll have someone get, send you guys over the quote and we'll go from there in total, um, in total transparency. And this is a disclaimer. Um, I was like, all right, cool. His price was very expensive. And so I was like, in my nature, I'm from New York, excuse me. I'm going to negotiate. If you're not negotiating with anything, if you're buying a home, you're buying a car, you getting your veneers, the you first, better. Your first nature should be negotiating. You should be negotiating. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I took in, I had four quotes so far and his quote was at the top. He was the most expensive doctor. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I wanted to go with Oral Harmony because they personalized care. So they said, they said that they personalized care. They only take four patients a week. Um, that everyone's time frame was about the same. Mm -hmm. Even though billion dollar doctor said he can get you in in two days, in and out. I was scared of that process. So right. I was like, nope, I want something that's going to be a little extensive, a week. Everybody else said a week and that just made more sense to me. Mm -hmm. So all of those things lined up. So it was between Dr. Diaz and Dr. Sebastian at Oral Harmony. And so I asked Oral Harmony, I said, hey, is there any way that we could negotiate the price? Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, absolutely. Uh, but we will ask for you to post for us on your social media. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know if I wanted to share this with you guys, just to be in like totally honest. I didn't even know if I wanted to share it. Not that I was holding it back, but some things is personal. So mm -hmm. some things I just didn't know if I wanted to share that. So I kind of was like, I don't know. Antoine, what you think? Mm -hmm. It was only a thousand dollars off. And I'm right. like, what do you think? And he was like, for, for our social media, that's not enough money off. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, for a collaboration on our account, we're just being honest. Like, it was the cost of a T like our whole procedure would have been a collaboration. That's mm. how much we charge. So for him to want a collaboration to give us a thousand dollars off, that wasn't conducive. Right. So I was like, all right, I feel you. I went back and counter offered and he said, okay, I can bring it down. He bought it down. I believe to that, like $2,500. Okay. And we were like, all right, cool. I'm like, you know, what? at this point, sometimes you just got to pay for what you want. It's no big deal. Right. We want this doctor. He was personable. It was good. We seen his social media account. Like he seemed like he was very like informational. He was very educational and in the way that he did and promoted his content. So we were like, cool, we're going to go ahead and go with him. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So we made plans. We did that. We sent them over the deposit that you have to wire him over the deposit. So right. that was kind of scary. We wired over the deposit in order to get confirmed. Once we was confirmed, they told us that they would take care of our hotel um, and all of our transportation. Back up. 
before we even get there. When you're doing something on a foreign country, make sure you use a major credit card. Do not use Zelle, Cash App, or anything of that nature. Just wanted to, to close. Make sure I gave you that fun fact. Right. Don't do that. Um, but anyway, the wiring, we, you, we couldn't get around the wiring. We had to wire him um, $1,000, which was $500 a piece in order to get booked into the session. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once we did that, then they was able to, um, to book us. Now, again, from the time frame, like he had availability. That's always a red, a red flag. Right. When you contact somebody and they seem they're overseas, they seem to be popping on all social media platforms. And then you ask them, like, well, what's your earliest availability? And they'd be like, well, I can get you in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's a red flag. OK, because if you booked them busy, then right, you shouldn't have availability. You shouldn't have availability that immediately. Mm -hmm. So we kind of was just like, look at God, <laughs> look at God, look at God just working on our favor. So we did it and, and it was great. It was no problem. We set everything up. Everyone was excited. Our kids were excited for us. My mother was excited because this is something that, I mean, this was like a dream at one point for me that was really about to become a reality. So at that moment, we, everything was booked and ready. We had to fill out our information. We had to give it over to them so that we will have no issues going through customs. That x-rays. Right. So forth. Paperwork. Paperwork. We, paperwork. Excuse me. We did everything. So, and then I, I told him that I was bringing Lola because Lola was still breastfeeding. So I was just like, I'm not going to take my baby off a of breast milk just to have this procedure. That's not going right. to happen. And so we get there and... <laughs> we get picked up. Everything was great. We get to Columbia. Flight was great. We get picked up on time. The dry, driver was, was amazing. Cool. Cool. Was cool. Very nice. Didn't speak English, but he had a translator. Very nice. Mm -hmm. He uh, it was an hour drive from the airport to where we were staying at in Medellin. It was like an hour. It okay? was an hour away. It was an hour away. <laughs> Very nice ride. <laughs> we laughing. Why we laughing? Because it was just, it was a good ride. We thought we was in, the, we was in a good space. We was in a good space and good spirits, just thanking God. And we pulled up to a very budget hotel. Right. I mean, the, the hotel itself was we budget. Put, it we, was said budget. It like a warehouse in the back. It looked like a warehouse. So I'm just like, this ain't the hotel. So the time we pulled up, I'm looking around and I was like. Because it's late. You hold my hand. So we're going to get in this building together. It and was really, late. It was late. It was about 1030 at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, we were very scared. So not scared, but just on key, yeah. like not 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 scared, just you know, on point, like my wife is saying. We right. just made sure that we was aware of the surroundings that we was going into. We get to this hotel, so you know, the outside looked a little sketchy. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the word, sketchy. And we kind of was like, no problem. Like right, right. we took the elevator. The guy was very nice. And so when we got in the elevator, he saw my husband's necklaces and was like, "Hey, even though this is a like a safe place," he says. He said, don't tempt nobody. Put those necklaces away. <laughs> we was like, huh? And so, you know, he can't speak English. So he tra yeah. he translated everything and showed us the phone. phone. And I was like, because the last time we was in Colombia, I told Antoine, put them necklaces away. Like, don't tempt nobody. So when he said it, I just looked at my husband. My husband was like, oh, OK. So then he heard me put it, tucked it in, you know. We go into check in. So they help us check in and stuff like that. And when I tell you the security guard kept. Yeah. like this. He was staring at us so much. Like we was a problem. We was so like, what are he looking at? Uncomfortable, like uncomfortable. But then you get to a place where you stare back at him, like, like is there? there a I don't speak um, Spanish, Spanish, and you don't speak English, so you gonna see in my eyes what I'm saying. When I tell you now, I know why he was looking at us funny because he was looking at us. It was us two with a newborn baby, and he yeah. was saying to us, "What are y'all doing here in this hotel?" That's why he was looking at us like that. When we got to the room, it was two twin size beds in that room in a bathroom. It was kind of like when you go to your camp. Have you ever been to a campsite and you got the little cots, but they had a TV? <laughs> that truck was crazy. I can reach out and touch the wall from here. <laughs> y'all looking at us like that because you don't understand. I hope I got a picture of it, y'all. I'm going to show it to y'all. Right. The twin size bed was smaller than the twin size bed. It was a twin inside a twin. They had two of them. Yeah, like it was like this. They wasn't <laughs> even put together like a king bed. They thought we was on a slumber party or something. They wasn't even put together like to make a king size bed. You know, two twins 
in America make a king size bed. We all know this, right? I'm pretty sure we know this here. Two twin size beds can make a king, right? They was half of a twin bed. It was a cot. Mistake in it. Had no foam, no padding, or anything. And we'd have rolled over to fell on the floor. The the freaking room was no bigger than our freaking bathroom. Right. We literally we stood by the door for a minute, like we can't stay in here. We looked like I couldn't believe it. I was just like, God, mm -mm. I was like, discernment. This is this is not what I was feeling. You're not staying here. And so I was like, we can't stay here. Like when I tell you, my heart just sunk because I believe that from that moment. I knew that if this was the impression that this was going to be the experience we had, and I kid you not, that was the his experience we had, you guys. Oh. So we, before, because I, I'm very particular. That's my personality. Y'all can tell. Y'all say I've been cutting my husband off when I talk. I'm very particular in how I communicate with people. I'm very particular. I'm very like, we're, we're going to communicate. I don't beat around the bush. Communicate and say what you mean because I'm going to mean what I say. So before I reached out to Oral Harmony, to the secretary or whoever booked this crap, I said, let's let's go down to the front desk and see if they can, Give us a new room. If they can try to justify this or have some kind of ramification to well, fix this. Well, they can't justify it or have no ramification. That's just what they got. We got down there. <laughs> and what the lady told us. Oh, we got something else, but you got to pay. That's not what she told us. She, she said, said, Oral Harmony booked. This. Oh, yeah. Oral Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said, Oral Harmony booked two double beds for you. And it was like two single friends going to go get their teeth done. Or if we were brother, sister, Son, two, cousins, two individuals, not a husband. married couple with a baby. Right. So the lady said, Yeah, we can, we can put oh. you in a different room first she said no multiple times then she said we can put you in a different room but you it will cost you mm -hmm. and then she wanted to find and help us out and then she wound up just saying okay i'll just she moved us to a, another room that was the exact same but they just put the two double beds together mm -hmm. wait no the first room they gave us was a they had a, a thing up against the wall a murphy was, bed a murphy bed that you pull down and then she's like nah this won't be and then she's like okay no and then she wound up giving us a bed i mean the um two twins together for a king when i and it wasn't a king it was two twins that went together that made a full-size bed right and we, we had much, one pillow each we didn't get much sleep that night we had no blankets only sheets mm -hmm. when i tell you the hotel was like 33 dollars a night mm -hmm. you got every bit of that 33. i was so i was just like god if this is the the first impression then i know that we are doomed from here Mm. And unfortunately, that's what happened. So uh, I reached out to them in the morning. Antoine and I slept. We kind of slept. We didn't sleep. We didn't sleep. We just we prayed the entire night. Really. And then and then the breakfast. And, and then the breakfast. But we was going to go to another hotel. We seen that it was a Marriott right down the street. And but we mm. was like we don't know how to get around around here. And if the guy just told my husband to put his necklaces away. I don't want to take an Uber or something because I don't want to get jacked by the Uber. Mm -hmm. So we contacted the driver to come back for us and he was like, take an Uber. Yeah, he did. We said, okay, God, we're going to just tip you. <laughs> we're going to just tip you a night stay, basically, because that's how much we tipped him. And he told us to go to get an Uber. So we was like, it's no problem. So I contacted him in the morning and mm -hmm. I said, this is highly unacceptable. Right highly unacceptable she apologized and she was just like uh we can put you in a different hotel but it's going to be an additional 150 dollars a night what what it's fine we can find our own i said don't even worry about it we'll find our own no I, or you just or we already booked I yeah think we already booked no I, she had because we had to tell her first but whatever she was going to say we knew that we was mm. not staying there again right so, and she was like, we can't do, we don't have any ties to that. I said, there's a Marriott down the street. He, she said, we don't have any collaborations with them. So the ones that they did have a collaboration with, we had to pay an extra $150 a night. Yeah, so you ain't got no. So you ain't got no collaborations because that's the end of price. Right. 
So we wound up just booking the Marriott, which we got points and stuff like that. We stayed for free. We, we, we stayed there. We went to the Marriott, four-star hotel, and went down there. When I tell you, it was just like the experience. I don't want to hold y'all on that, but the experience was terrible from that mm -hmm. point. We got to the first day. We went to our appointments. We had to get x-rays and stuff. So we kind of just wanted to put our best foot forward. Right. We prayed about it. You know, we worked through it. And then we got there. It wasn't that bad at first, but. It wasn't that bad at first, like Antoine said. We prayed and we kind of was just like, we're going to get and continue to put our best foot forward. Right. Uh, after our x-rays, uh, immediately once we got there, they, was, they had lights, cameras, actions. They was waiting for us to come on and take pictures. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of like things. So originally, like we are happy about this. We didn't come there for any other thing other to, than to get our teeth done. Our teeth done. We wanted to get veneers. Okay. We just wanted a great experience. That's it. We mm -hmm. didn't want nothing more. We didn't want nothing less. We didn't want the stars and the moon. We didn't want that. Mm -hmm. We wanted our teeth done. And so the very first day, it was like lack of communication. We did mm -hmm. the x-rays and then my they was like, okay, it's your turn. And so, you know, I'm kind of recording the whole thing because they never kind of outline this what? is what you will be exper expecting these days. This is going to happen on day one. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do on day two. We had a phone consultation. Two weeks later, we was in Columbia. Do you know that the doctor didn't come to us and say, okay, so this is what we're going to do? Right. Would, no. They literally recorded us, got our testimonials, and pulled Antoine into the room. So... At first, we didn't know that his wife, Dr. Sandra, does all of the yeah. procedures. First thing first, that the doctor that gave us the consultation doesn't do the procedures at all. His wife does everything. The other thing is, is that he's the only one that's in the office, him and the secretary that speak English. So if, if neither one of them are there, we have no one that's going to interpret any type of English to us. So that's the, a big problem. That was a big problem big issue i think that that was a big um red flag it was a red flag it was a disadvantage so once so immediately from day one we realized that wait a minute something is a little bit off the doctor who did our consultation is not the doctor who pulled us in the room and actually is working on my mouth they worked on my husband's mouth first and i kind of was just out there with lola and they, it was late in the day, so I kind of thought that that was odd. Like, why are we coming to the dentist at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Like, right. that's late, you know? And so they worked on Antoine's teeth, and they literally was cleaning his teeth, and they shaved his teeth down mm -hmm. to make it even. So he didn't, and the next thing he knew, he was giving me his wedding ring. He was like, babe, I got to take this off. And I was like, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. And they was contouring his gums. Right. And they never once explain like, hey, this, I will have to contour your gums mm. so your gum line can be very even. So this stuff was just happening to him. And I am usually the mouthpiece, okay? I know y'all can see my husband is very reserved. And sometimes he just lets me be the mouthpiece. And this time I felt like, damn, I, I kind of dropped the ball because I was sitting, I was just, I was so excited, y'all. Mm -hmm. I know y'all seen the videos I was recording. I was just really excited. I was happy to be there, honey. Like, do you hear me? I was so happy to be there. Like, they gave me a little cup of coffee or something. I was really happy to be there. So when he came out the chair, he said, I'm in pain. I was like, well, what happened? I'm thinking that they only was cleaning your teeth. And he was like, something, they was doing something. I was like, well, what did they do? And I had to get the secretary over to have, me, have her explain to me what happened because they, I'm thinking that was part of the procedure of the first day because I thought you had to clean your teeth and then you get everything else the following days. She had to explain it down to the T. I mean, it shouldn't have been that way to where you had to then go back and say, can you ask them what did they do to me? It should have been a schedule given. Um, the thing, the proper procedure is making sure that you that you're in the same connection with the person that's doing the procedure, or the doctor's office. Usually, when we go to the doctor's office or appointments, they let you know what's going to happen. Even like therapists, you know, if you're going to get your back cracked or whatever it is, they're going to tell you what they're doing and what's going to happen this day and the next day. That didn't happen in Columbia. That didn't happen at all. It's, it was really like, okay, listen. They're a little rough around the edges. It's okay. It's going to be just fine, right? We kind of right. were just like, okay, it's all right. So we left that day. Next day, they said, Sambia, we'll work on you. So we was like, okay, no problem. So the next day, um, we was not being picked up anymore by the guy, even though they told us we were going to have transportation. So I guess because there's other people who was there who needed to get transportation. I mean, but 
it, it was what it was. We was like, you have to take everything with a grain of salt. It's fine, right? So we were just really happy that we was having this experience. We was taking the Ubers, even though that wasn't initially disclosed to us. We was always told that we was going to have a personal driver that was going to take us to and from all of our appointments from the airport, anytime we wanted food and stuff like that, so that we can remain safe, right? That's what we was instructed when we first booked. Not so, to mention <laughs> that the Uber is illegal in Medellin. So the Uber driver was asking us well, for me to sit in the front and if we get pulled over by the police, that we are friends. And that is not cool or kosher for us. And that really gave us a red flag that we should have had transportation given by Oral Harmony. I absolutely agree. I said, and then they was already trying to put your teeth on you. Remember, right. they were just like, try on. I mm -hmm. said, so we got there and I said, I thought it was my turn, but they wanted to try your teeth on. They me. wanted to give me a try on and it was crazy because I wasn't even ready, nor was it the right time for us to give the try on. I still had pain and severe, like, things going on with my gums after the contour. So why would you put something that's going to hit my gums at the same time? It made no sense to me. It, it was weird like so they told me Sylvia is going to be all about you tomorrow they're going to be doing I'm like all right I'm with it like I know how the feelings is so she they got to remove old feelings and when you have old feelings like this this is just a little bit of education when you have old feelings like this I had told you I had dentists in here in America who said I'm not touching it mm -hmm. no because it will cause more trauma than good by removing that mm -hmm. I had these feelings that I had since I was nine ten years old why would you remove them if I wasn't in pain I wasn't in no pain I had no kind of sensitivity issues mm -hmm. I had very fine teeth right only thing I was wrong with my teeth I had a front crown because when I was a kid I had chipped my tooth and I had I needed to get a root canal and all that stuff I chipped my tooth in the pool when I was diving in the pool when I was about eight years old right so I had one crown in front of my mouth no other crowns in my in my mouth. And I was biting on a piece of candy. That's how I broke that tooth. And I finally just got the tooth pulled because it was just too much to try to get a crown and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I had really good teeth. My dentist who I saw, literally, Antoine and I saw a dentist out here a week before we flew out. He said, Sam Via, your teeth are beautiful. He perfect said, teeth. He said, you have perfect teeth. He told my husband and I, he was just like... You sorry, all you needed to clean it. He says, Sam Via, you don't even need to clean it. He says, your teeth is so good. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't even recommend taking out those fillings. He said, and I was like, but I really want an aesthetic pleasing smile. He was like, Sam Via, I will, okay, let's think. And he said to me, let's do a crown. Right. So when Dr. Sebastian said no crown, already two dentists said that they would want to do a crown on my mouth. So it's like red flag, right? Like, but again, I didn't know. I was just like, I'm just going to go. This doctor seemed like he's one of the best out there, educational-wise. Let me go with him. Also, but it's nothing to want what you want. You right. wanted to do this procedure for a long time, and we did the procedure. It's not your fault for trying to do something that you wanted to do. I mean, sometimes we don't get a chance to do anything in life that we want to do. We have to do something for somebody else the whole life. But you did right. something for yourself, so... And I appreciate that, but it just, it hurts me. As you guys can kind of see, like, as this conversation is going, um, I'll cut across the friendship just let y'all know that we had a horrible experience. And mm. I know that you guys saw the videos, and y'all saw the videos in real time. Right. Y'all saw the video, and did y'all notice that I stopped posting the veneer videos? Yeah, because it got really nasty. It we, got sticky at the end. It got very sticky. We was treated very disgusting. Mm-hmm. We were treated very nasty up until the point that the very last day I said, I don't want them. Mm -hmm. Before they was even in my mouth, I said, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't have to have them. I will go home the way that I came. And they said, well, you're not going to get your refund. Because what happened is when you're there, immediately once you're there, you have to pay for the service. Right. So before, and that's with anything. If you go and you get any kind of cosmetic surgery or anything, even if you go to the doctor front. right now and get a rotator cuff pair, repair, you have to pay before the procedure. Right. Anything. If I get, I had a surgery on my foot, you have to pay before the procedure. Right. So in that case, that's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. As scary as that was, we paid before the procedure. We paid up front. We paid up front. Hoping and with, with expectations that was going to exceed our our imagination, like we were we had we was in great hands. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, I don't want to, I just cut across the video just so y'all can see that. We will have a part two, you guys, to share how it was going. We're going to have a follow-up, and we're going to get a little deeper into what the situation was, especially toward the end, because I think that is very important for you guys to know, because you guys may be wanting veneers or cosmetic surgery, so we're just going to let you know our transition and our truth. Amen. And I know that, like... So many of you guys were just saying, like, don't get it, don't get it. And a lot of you guys was like, your teeth is fine, your teeth is fine. And all of those things that y'all was saying, we was receiving. And it was just like, well, he didn't shave down our teeth until shark teeth, right? Because as you see the videos, everybody see the TikTok videos mm -hmm. where the girls say they got sensitivity, they shaved, they went to uh, Turkey and they shaved down the teeth immediately. This doctor promised that he wouldn't do that. Right. This doctor didn't even work on our teeth at all. Right. His wife did everything. His wife spoke zero English. There was no communication between the doctor and the, and the person that actually did the work. At all. So, I mean, to give y'all a clear cut of what Oral Harmony is like, they're going to present you with great customer service because they got somebody speaking English. That's when you contact them on that social media or through us apps, which is social media, they have someone speaking English and they can translate real quick for you. So it make it seem like it's personal. Once you have a conversation with the doctor, he does speak little English, right? The doctor, he is the face of the business. Right. He does all of the social media. He's in front of the camera all day. He is not actually working on patients. He's not the surgeon. He is not the sir. He's not the one doing the stuff. Mm -hmm. Now he may be doing some procedures. So the stuff that y'all see him doing with my husband, if he was trying my husband's teeth on him, he was doing. Okay, my friends, Doctor Sebastian here. Look, brother, What's how are you, on? my man? I'm doing good, man. Good. Thank you so much, brother, for being here. I'm doing all right. No baby teeth, no chitlins, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look, my friends, at this beautiful family. Um, how are you? I'm good. Good, you look amazing. And oh, you and Lola. You. Okay. Lola. You're okay. Lola. okay. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Doing that just for the content. Mm -hmm. If he was doing it with me and kind of saying, oh, how do you like your smile? Do you like your smile? What do you think, miss? He was doing it specifically for the content. He right. didn't even touch my teeth mm -hmm. at all. His wife did it. So, I mean, it was multiple things. And I know a lot of you probably saying, well, y'all got y'all teeth. The teeth look amazing. I was, I, I'm, we're going to share that in part two. We're not going to go into details of it. The smile is what the smile is. Y'all can see it. I'm going to talk to y'all about the aftermath of us getting our veneers. Mm -hmm. Do we regret it? Um, I don't like to live life with regrets. No. Do you? Mm -mm. Okay. How do you feel? Like I feel like, you know, we got our teeth done. And that's it. It wasn't, we wasn't ready for the customer service. We wasn't ready for the discomfort. We wasn't ready for all the lies that we had got. Yeah. So now that we're here, I don't regret it. Um, I went through a situation and God pulled us out. And that's it. Amen. Would you recommend people to oral harmony? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Absolutely Fine. not. If, if my recommendation is, um, Find a doctor that you know somebody that went to that doctor. Right. Don't, don't go, go off of social, social media. media. Don't go off of social media. No. Go, go to a doctor. If, if you don't know anybody that got surgery from that doctor and you're planning on getting veneers, then just do your research. Go there and go get a cleaning and see how it is. Go Because they do cleanings. Every doctor does cleaning. Go there and go ask and see how the customer service is. Go stop in there for, you know, do a, do a, a dry run is what I call it. Do a dry run. Go there and go see the cut. Hey, I want to get my teeth done. I'm in town. And I just want to see how to sit down and have a conversation with you. And then go like the third trip and then try to get your teeth done if you don't know anybody that did it. So just, you know, try your best just to make sure that you're doing your, your due diligence and getting, Absolutely. you know, cross your um, teeth, dot your eyes. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I appreciate you sharing that and being honest. You have to be, um, you have to do your own due diligence. Mm -hmm. In this case, we felt like we did our own due diligence before choosing Oral Harmony. But sometimes all that glitter ain't gold, you right. know what I mean? And I get that. And we kind of, we prayed on it, we prayed on it. But sometimes I believe that God still gives us, signs. he gives us signs. But I still believe that God gives us the things that we don't 
need. Right. He, he, you know what I mean? So some of us, you'd be like, well, you prayed and y'all still went. We prayed, but I feel like God still blessed that. You know why? Because sometimes God needs us to learn. Mm -hmm. There are things that we don't see going forward, but that's how we gain knowledge, wisdom, understanding, discernment. Mm -hmm. Now, you can never put my husband and I in a similar situation because once we smell that same, same situation, now we know how to respond to it. Right. And also, we went through this to help someone else. Amen. We didn't just go through, go through this for us to be like, oh, yeah, this has happened to us. Nah, it's, it's other people that went out there and had several situations and been through similar, similar things. The thing is, is that we came here and used our platform to make sure that we're telling y'all our truth. Amen. Uh, but look out for part two, which Coming will be soon. out tomorrow. I want you guys to look out for it. I want to make sure we get these videos to you. Mm. Um, until then, I love you guys. Peace.